I'm Andrew Raines with Apex Pro. Uh, we make a data device for motorsports, specifically tailored to drivers looking to improve themselves. It's very simple, small, fits on your dashboard of your car, has a GPS and an accelerometer in it, and pairs with your phone. So you download the app and you can access all the data that you could access 20 years ago with very expensive systems you can now have in the palm of your hand. What I spend a lot of time doing during these events is talking to drivers about you know, one kind of driving technique that they can improve on throughout the weekend. So like the one thing that they're typically doing in a variety of corners. Then we go into like three specific places on the track where that issue might be affecting them and where they can improve in those issues. But what I would share to any drivers that are new to data or just starting to get into understanding their driving from an objective data-driven level is try to look at the big picture and find one driving technique. So what you see on the screen here is a speed trace, which is your speed versus distance graph. And the reason I like this view is because it's very easy to see if that global driving technique that you need to work on is coasting before the braking zone, or maybe you're double braking. That means you're applying the brake and then releasing the brake and applying again, indicating you're braking too early. You can see all of that stuff really easily and visually in this graph that we have pulled up here. So on the speed trace, you wanna see motion. You wanna see acceleration or braking. So you wanna see like, accelerating up to the point where you brake and then a swift transition to braking. So we call that a sawtooth because your speed trace will look like the jagged edge of a saw. If there's like a curve on the top of your speed versus distance trace, usually that's a creep off the gas. Most drivers do that at some point. So you have to be prepared to look at your data and go, I might be doing that. It's not always traffic. A lot of times it's what you're doing. And you have to look at multiple laps to understand that as well. The biggest thing that I can encourage people to do with data is just try looking at one thing, try to pull up this image you see behind us, identify one thing and just start doing that more consistently and it becomes like a language that you can speak. Multiple driver comparisons are, are critical and in my opinion make data review fun and like community driven. A slower driver might be doing several corners faster than you. You know, it might be carrying a lot more speed through certain areas or applying the brake differently and you'll pick up on all that in the data. Don't forget that data is just another tool in your toolbox. The numbers that you see displayed, your minimum corner speeds, maximum speeds on the straightaway, all the important things, that's just what happened. You have to acknowledge what happened and understand if it's good or bad. But just remember when you buy that fancy new tool, you usually have to learn how to use it. So be prepared to learn how to use this tool and if you go into data understanding it's a learning process, you're going to get a ton of value out of it and enjoy it along the way.